And breaking news at 11, former President Clinton in the hospital tonight, and we have just learned new details about his health scare. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. President Clinton has been admitted to the University of California Irvine Medical Center. His spokesperson is sharing updates on his condition tonight. CBS 2's Dick Brennan in our newsroom with the breaking details. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, former President Clinton was admitted to the hospital back on Tuesday and right now is in the intensive care unit. He's at the University of California Irvine Medical Center in Orange, California. The 75-year-old Clinton reportedly has a urinary tract infection that spread to his bloodstream. It's also known as sepsis. It's not COVID-related and it's being treated with IV antibiotics in the ICU, but we're told he's there more for safety and privacy reasons than anything else. Mr. Clinton was not feeling well on Tuesday, suffering with fatigue, and it was determined that his condition was not heart-related. You remember the former president had bypass surgery in 2004 and stents in 2010. Now, we talked to our Dr. Max Gomez about sepsis and what it means for a man in his 70s. UTIs can be very serious in the elderly, causing kidney damage, uh, confusion, sudden changes in behavior, and even sepsis. But if treated appropriately with IV antibiotics, as President Clinton is getting, it should clear up in a few days, and he should be back to normal pretty soon. Now, in a statement, a spokesperson said Mr. Clinton is on the mend in good spirits and incredibly thankful to the doctors, nurses, and staff. Now, he could be in the hospital for another day, depending on his recovery, but doctors say it's possible he could be released tomorrow. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dick, thank you.